then Sabbath has a special mention. If it's already in the Ten Commandments, it's there. Okay, Sabbath. <clears throat> what do we say about Sabbath class? The Bible says, if you keep your feet from doing your own travels, your words from talking your own words, and call the Sabbath a delight, you will reach heaven. Oh, something like that, Isaiah. Right? That, that is the promise in Isaiah. <clears throat> I have a book. I will give you a... I, I have a book class, and I will give you the copy of the book. My book is very difficult to read. It is the most difficult book to read. You know what is the topic in my book? You know what is the topic? I'm even having a hard time how to say it to you. <laughs> you know what? The Sabbath will be the biggest test in the last days because it is about worship. Oh, worship. My name is Pasamba. So almost worship, yeah? <clears throat> Sabbath will be the biggest test in the last days because it is about worship. Who do we worship? Who do we follow? And I'm going to say something very hard, but I only have two minutes. <clears throat> Can you listen? I don't know how to say. I will just say because I have two, mini two minutes. I don't have time to be tactful. I will just tell what the Bible says. The Bible says we are not supposed to cook food on the Sabbath. The spirit of prophecy says we are not supposed to cook food. Cooking food is sin, the Bible says. Cooking food is sin on the Sabbath. The spirit of prophecy says cooking food is sin. Those who cook food who don't do, prepare food is uh, transgress the law of God. Adventist.org officially says that those we should prepare our food before the Sabbath. But all Filipinos, they don't know. <laughs> I was debating with my friend who was telling me this, but I had to look for official statement. So I researched, you know, I am Googler. I know, I am Komsai. I know how to use the internet for research. I cannot find an official statement of the church that says we can cook on Sabbath. But all the Filipinos, Adventists, they don't know this one. They all give wrong answers, unofficial wrong answers. Even PhDs in theology, they give wrong answers, unofficial. They are PhD, but they are not official answer. All the official answers, Bible, Spirit of Prophecy, Adventist CU, Adventist.org, the books, they, Ellen G. White, they all say and agree with the Bible that we should cook the Sabbath food before the Sabbath. So <clears throat> I changed my position because I cannot contradict the Bible. I cannot contradict the older prophets, Ellen White. I cannot contradict official statements in the church. Even if I have five PhDs, I cannot do that, right? I cannot successfully fight the truth. So now I am telling people what the official statement is, what the Bible says. And everybody wants to obey, but they don't know how, because nobody told them before. So I have a list of things here. I, have a, I, I made a list of things that I observed how people avoid cooking on the Sabbath. And <clears throat> so many people, official people, lame people, etc. They know how to avoid cooking on the Sabbath. And I assume that everybody wants to obey, but people don't know what to do because their food will spoil. So I collected all of this, and I, I share it with other people. If you want to read the official statements, I also collected them because there are many false prophets who are telling <coughs> things that are not official, things are against the Bible. So the Bible says, bake that which you will bake, seeth, seeth is pakuluan, bake is oven, and the remainder, yung tira, you eat it in the morning. <coughs> but the Israelites did not understand, hindi nila nagets. 
So God said, how long will you refuse to keep my commandments? Whose commandment is that? Is it commandment of Moses? No, God was calling Mo scolding Moses. Is it the commandment of Pharisees? No, there were no Pharisees at Exodus 16. It is, God says, it is my instruction. What does Ellen White say? Those who neglect to prepare, prepare pala ang technique. And who cook food on the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment and are transgressors of God's law. What does, uh, <clears throat> what does Adventist.org say? The buying and preparation. So you are not supposed to buy food on Sabbath, uh, Jollibee, whatever, pizza. <clears throat> but but the, the buying is based on Nehemiah. Nehemiah scolded the merchants who are waiting outside the gate of AUP. <laughs> Nehemiah chapter 13. He said, 